applied this mask and I did erased. I don't like this little fade. But again, because of this video, I'm gonna have to just keep it that way. Smaller brush. Oh, and erase where needed when you screw up staying inside the lines. Okay. So now his skin kind of matches. He's looking even better. Now you can a lot of times you're going to get totally different skin that doesn't, you know, the guy's real red in the face and it's hard to blend him into the complexion of the original picture. This is where I like to play with levels and color tones, so he really doesn't need it. I mean, this kind of looks good for now, but, you know, if you go to image adjustments, color balance, you start playing with mid-tone shadows and highlights by just adjusting stuff. You can change the whole complexion of the person, you know, it could be, it could be the Hulk if you wanted to. And actually, this also helps you see where you didn't paint. You see all these little blotches down here where I haven't actually applied to ma uh, any paint to. So it gives you an idea, too. That'll, you know, again, change color of the person to, you know, change the complexion. But you can also do image adjustment levels by playing with the sliders. You can see it gives them an overall different tone. You know, whatever. Cancel that. Um, what else do I use? Vibrance. Vibrance helps. Okay, those are different things to try and blend the complexion more or less. But I'm going to actually paint that down here because I forgot about his chest. This guy's like showing off his chest for some reason. A little low cut. Okay, so his complexion is gener gener generally the same now. There's some other things you could do. Um, now, his mustache looks a little off color. So, and his eyebrows too. He kind of wanted to match the sides. So he's got more of a black. This is where, again, you're going to just play with an, add a new layer and just play with the opacity. You're going to change the blend modes. If I just set this right now to normal and we paint it on him, you get this black mess, pixelated mess. And you can lower the opacity. But, you know, really down to nothing. You don't start, you don't see these hard edges anymore from the paintbrush that the paintbrush created. But if we want to make it a little bit darker, we could do that too. And then use the blur tool around the edges. So you see, again, you don't see these hard edges anymore, but you still see, you know, kind of the indentation of that there's hair there. Again, you do that to blacken the other eyebrow, the same thing. And again, use the blur tool to go over the edges. You could also try different level blend modes, like color. You know, color with black doesn't really do much. When you use black on the color blend mode, it kind of just turns it more of a white. So that doesn't work. But uh, multiply might even give you a little bit of a, a good a look. But, you know, again, we're going over his mustache. Same thing, we want him to kind of have a darker mustache. I'm feeling this video is going to run very long. And, you know, this is just one technique that I do to do this. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways other people use uh, to put heads on people's bodies. But, I mean, I do this a lot now with friends at work, and it cracks them up because you can really make people look totally different. I've done a few. And it kind of looks okay. Oh, nope, that's bad. We want to blend out this mustache more. It doesn't look right here. And you're still seeing a lot of gray over here in this area, and, uh, you know, I might even have to create another layer with a darker opacity to kind of get rid of that gray, but you're getting the basic function, I'm going to try and end this video now, because uh, this is, it's running too long, but I will show you what my finished of this exact look like from a, from a, one I had done earlier, playing around, this took me a while, but this was the generic, <laughs> this was the end result, you know, black mustache, and uh, it almost looks like his head really fits on this body, uh, so, Again, I hope this helps, shows you how to put different people's heads, different bodies. You can do this with a lot of pictures. Key things you want to start with, high-resolution picture, and a picture that's actually similar, has a similar pose to the one that you're trying to put it on. And um, it'll, you'll find it's pretty easy. So I hope this helped, and uh, enjoy.